comic book fans, and welcome to another exciting edition of Cammy's Comic Corner Indie Comics Episode Volume 9. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I'm your host, as always, Cammy. So yes, first off, I know that the last one was a couple months ago of these Indie Comics episodes, but I swear, I've been trying to maintain, you know, at least one episode, one new episode every couple of months, so you've got to stay with me. So, so enough about that, enough about me pleading that you forgive me. Let's get on to the pick for this episode, we have, it's, it's a good one, and it's since this is October, it's right around that time where The Walking Dead TV show is going to come out on AMC later this month, and it's just zombies in general are cool, so why not combine cowboys and zombies into Zombie Outlaw number one, written by Brian Apodaca and art by B. Paul Jordan. Now, the whole story revolving around Zombie Outlaw, is yes, it does have a Zombie Outlaw. That's not false advertising. But, in order to get to there, we gotta go to the present day and learn about our surroundings in the story. We follow this fresh, or this sophomore, Matt Naismith, as he attends Irvine State University. And he's been paired up recently with this bitchin' hottie. Redhead, you know, nice and muscular. Just how I like him. Named KT... Uh, Delaney and they are lab partners and so of course like many stories where you're paired up with that hot lab partner You can't talk to them. The, the words aren't coming to you. You don't know how to talk to girls So what does uh, Matt do? He goes to his uh, resident advisor Will Simmers and Will is an experienced guy You know, he's that guy that you always go to if you have a problem and it seems like he can help you solve it so that was, he, Matt goes to Will, and Will goes, oh, absolutely, girl problems, no, no big deal, I can help you out. However, we gotta do this one thing first, you gotta help me. And so, you know, Matt, needing help, he goes, sure, absolutely, whatever you want. So it involves going back to the library, uh, where he recently came from, and they go to the Western Occult History section, and first of all, I gotta... I gotta, I gotta chuckle out of that because the fact that this this library has such a section, well played, well played. I like it. So Will's going through the section and he finds this one book that he's been meaning to read all these years, and it tells of this story about this outlaw back in Irvine in 1872 named Edward Dransby. And basically, this guy before he was a force of good for this town, he was an outlaw. And the whole history of what happened in Irvine back then, there these zombies started coming out of the lake and then they terrorized the entire village. Well, this guy had this special hat that gave him powers because he transformed into some zombie. But it's rumored that this body and this hat are preserved somewhere on the campus. And so after swiping the librarian's keys, they go down to the catacombs of this uh, underground this school. And you're thinking, well, Matt's thinking, what the hell does this have to do with you getting me the girl? And and Will keeps egging him on. It's like, no, no, no. He, I, I promise, no, no, it's going to help out. We just got to do one more thing. And then we got to do another thing. So going through these catacombs, it's like Indiana Jones or looking for the, the lost, you know, the lost uh, warrior. And they come across this one tomb and open it up sure enough there is the zombie outlaw in the mummified flesh hat and all so will is so excited puts on the hat says, look what i found look at me look at me and that's when the zombie comes to life apparently the zombie outlaw was a curse passed down to edward dransby and now it's been passed down to will simmers will gets bitten he transforms instantly and Matt gets the hell out of there, as any rationally thinking person would. And so on the way out of the library, he picks up KT and zooms out the door. And it's a good thing because she was talking to this dumb jock who dresses like Guile from Street Fighter, I noticed. But now the whole end of the issue is the zombie outlaw has returned to the present day. And now he is terrorizing the Irvine State University campus. This was the first issue, mind you. And I got to say... I had a lot of fun. It's issues like this that really make me enjoy doing these indie comics episodes because you get some, a breath of fresh air and just, you know, artwork that you, that's not the norm, as it were. Like, all of the characters kind of have Popeye arms in this. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just uh, uh, it's a different choice. You don't see it that often in comics. And the flashbacks of Irvine in 1872 with the zombie outlaw taking on the hordes of the undead, the artwork changed changes dramatically, and I really enjoyed it. I, it's a lot more creepy, a lot more 
uh, eerie in a way. So if I can see a lot more of that kind of artwork in the future, then I'll be sure I'll, I'll be I'll be golden. It'll be great. It'll be great. But uh, basically, the art is is wonderful. The uh, the the, the story, you know, it, it's 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 getting there, but you know, it it was enough to get me intrigued to see what happens next. If you want to find out about uh, the creators and uh, Zombie Outlaw, you can visit their MySpace and friend them there at myspace.com/zombieoutlaw, or go to their main site zombieoutlaw.com, and it's really cool. It looks like it's a, a Irvine State University website. When in fact, if you scroll over, you know, the, the happy graduated students or, oh, the admissions, everything is gore splatter. It's, it's a cool website. I really got a kick out of it. And then if you want more Kami's Comic Corner goodness, you can head on over to www.kamiscomiccorner.com and from there listen to Geeky Talkie, see the Book of the Month episodes, and more past indie comics episodes. And if you, yes you, want to submit me your own comic, you're trying to get up into the industry and want me to review it, send me an email at kamiscomiccorner at gmail.com, send me a message on Twitter, on the forums, whatever you want, let's talk. It's going to be you and me, mano y mano, or mana if you're a girl, I guess. So until the next time, this has been Kami's Comic Corner, Indie Comics Episode Volume 9. See you next episode for Volume 10. Ah!